Okay, here we have a 4050, and we're going to show you a short video on how to do a C2 calibration on the 4050. From the start condition, hit the enter key, and then down arrow until you get to calibration. Once you get to the calibration menu, the right arrow shows you there's a sub-menu to it. Press the enter key. Now you've got a choice of C2 calibration or traditional calibration. We're going to do the C2 calibration, so we would hit enter. And now the first thing that comes up when you go into the C2 calibration menu is it'll tell you the number of C2 load cells that are attached to the instrument at this time. You can see that we have one load cell attached on this scale. As you arrow down, you then have your reference weight. This is going to be the weight that you want the instrument to read from the condition of the of the scale at this time. We're going to use zero since our scale is empty. The next parameter is a gravity correction depending on where you are in the world and the, the latitude that you're at, your gravity could affect your scale reading so there is a gravity correction to compensate for errors depending on where you are in the world. In this case, we're just going to use gravity correction of one since we're pretty close to the to the location of, of no error. Next thing is to d actually do the C2 calibration, so we'll hit enter. And it comes up with a message saying the C2 calibration is okay. And we see our weight reading then goes to our zero. And we exit all the way out. And then if I put, let's say, a two pound weight on the scale, we see it go up to our two pound weight. 